So, uh, first of all, it's a pleasure to have you here. Yeah. Thank you. Um, considered one of the you know, top DJs in the world nowadays. Yeah. What, it, what does it feel? You know, what is it like to, to be one of the top DJs and consider one of the top DJs according to the magazine? And what, what, how do you feel about it? And what's your um, impression of it? Uh, it's just fantastic to be doing something you really love. You know what I mean? It's just a great jo uh, job to do. You pure enjoyment, playing to crowds, giving them enjoyment. It's just the best feeling in the world. And to come to places like Brazil, the people here love the music and they love life and I love playing to them. Yeah. So it's just yeah, it's awesome to play to a crowd in, like in Brazil. Right. Last so, time I was here, it's a um, really good gig, and I'm really looking forward to getting back on tonight. Yeah. So you played uh, at Privilege before, right? Yeah, about um, a year ago. So yeah, just mm -hmm. over a year back. Yeah. What was the feedback you felt from the Privilege public? I mean, the people here in the house. Uh, my impression of the club was just. We just really sort of enjoyed the music I was playing, which is always a, always a good thing. So that's, I mean, I didn't get much time to hang around. There's pretty much in and out. Um, and here, I've been here a day, like we got here, I flew in from Santa Catarina. Oh, well, not flew in, we, we, I played in Santa Catarina the other day and got sort of a, a bit of a day to chill and hopefully a bit of time tomorrow. But So I'm looking forward to just uh, relaxing tomorrow in Buzios. It seems a really nice place. Right. Um, besides playing at Privilege, you also played at Skull Beats. Right, yeah. which is like a, one of the biggest, if it's not the biggest, uh, you know, electronic music at a, a concert and festival in Brazil, yeah. And also, I I read something in your, you know, uh, website like uh, Mystery Land and uh, Global Gathering, um, some other big big gigs you've done, right? Yeah. Uh, like uh, what else? Um, England and Miami, you played also. Uh, yeah, the, uh, Ultra Fest yeah. in Miami. Yeah, I mean, all the festivals are Big obviously ones. to play to such a large audience is great. Um, and to just the sheer atmosphere created at those events are amazing. But it's also very nice to come to clubs like this here, where you're a lot closer to the crowd, and you, that connection is very important to me because I love to interact and get that feedback from the audience. Right. Yeah. Uh, you also are like a radio DJ, right? You have a, a weekly show. Yeah, radio we have BBC Radio One. Yeah, that's yeah. Uh, every Thursday. Um, goes out between 12 and 2 UK time. Then so, it's also um, it can obviously be listened again on the internet every every day. So yeah, it's great. Again, that's something that's new to me. I'm really enjoying the radio, and it's just great to get put out to um, such a vast audience, uh, not just in the UK but internationally and around the world. Right, yeah. yeah. So it's a big. There's a big difference between being like a club DJ and a, a radio yeah, it DJ. Definitely, obviously, because you've uh, the, obviously the major difference is you've not playing to a live audience, and that's something. You know what I mean? It's I treat the, the two things two totally separate entities because when I'm DJing, I feed off the crowds, and you know when you're playing on the radio, you sort of more of a selector, and you're playing tracks yeah, sure. like that you that you think is good at the moment. When you DJ, you've got got such a large. Um, proportion of music you can bring with you you just DJ to the crowd and feed from tr off uh, them and, and play from track to track nice. and uh, what do you think the the public can expect from you tonight plenty of energy and plenty of fire <laughs> that's good yeah that sounds really good so uh, could you just uh, give us like a word and uh, like invite people to come like uh, next time you, you play a privilege uh, March 9th right you'll be in our March 9th in Drizia Fora I hopefully I think so yeah, yeah. I, guess. Uh, I don't know <laughs> hopefully say. come to the club because uh, I love playing in Brazil and I love the crowd Okay. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay.